Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and today I'm going to show you how I made a cake of a hand with pretty nail art. <laughs> I'm starting out by stacking my cake, and then I'll carve it into the shape of a forearm. <laughs> so it's just a forearm for now, I'll add the hand later. Being a cake artist, I really love the idea of nail art, because the two are actually very similar. Cake artists and nail artists both make art with very untraditional materials. We could just use, you know, clay and canvas, but no, no, we want to work with cake and nails. <laughs> the cake is covered in a layer of my delicious green buttercream, so now it's time to roll out some modeling chocolate. I'm pressing a knit texture mat into my chocolate to create a sweater effect. And then I'll just cover my forearm cake in this chocolate sweater material. Nail art has become a bit of a phenomenon over the past few years. You can find ridiculous amounts of images of some really elaborate nails all over social media. I've noticed that a lot of the images that showcase cool nail art are very thoughtful and they're staged to make for a very eye-catching image. And I wanna replicate that with my cake. In each picture, they consider not just the nails, but also the jewelry on the fingers and the background colors and even their sleeves. A lot of pictures include a hand that's posed with the sleeve pulled up to their palm and their fingers kind of curled over. And that's the pose that I'm going for. For the hand, I'm placing ivory modeling chocolate onto the end of the sleeve and I'm kind of curling it over the top. I'm using sculpting tools to shape the chocolate into knuckles and the bottom of each finger. I'll add more chocolate to the rest of each of the fingers as I go, and you'll see that a little bit later. I try my best to get the proportions of each finger correct, and then I start to shape and sculpt more and more of the details, like the separation between each finger and the folds of skin. I love sculpting this kind of stuff. Like you're watching the hand take shape, but so am I. When I start, I only have a vague idea of what the hand's gonna look like. And then as I sculpt and I push the chocolate around, I literally discover all the shapes of the hand as I go. Now, I don't know if everyone sculpts that way, but that's how I do it. This hand's looking a little bit like a glove. So let's add the star of this cake, the fingernails. I'm pressing my sculpting tool into the chocolate to form each of the nail beds, and then I'll add an almond-shaped piece of chocolate to create each edible nail. Oval, round, coffin, stiletto. There are a ton of different nail shapes to choose from, but I have to choose just one. So I'm going with a squared nail for this hand. Now that these nails look like nails that I wish I had, if they didn't always get in the way when I'm sculpting cakes, it's time to finally add some creases and skin texture. The chocolate's pretty firm by now, so I use a lighter to soften it a bit, making it easier to add lines. I know that it's hard to see the skin texture that I'm adding here. It kind of looks like I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> but once I paint with food color, you're going to see those creases. The sculpting is done, so let's paint. Check out this mug. This is a Sidesurf Cake Studio mug. You can get one too at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. And if you're left-handed, just images on both sides and get your own. To paint this cake, I'm looking to my own hand as a reference. When I look really close, I can see pink tones, and there's yellow tones, purple, brown, ivory. I got a lot of colors in my hand. 
So rather than just paint my hand one flat color, I'm layering these colors to create depth. Before I started making cakes about 10 years ago, my focus was painting. So this is my <laughs> Painting my cakes has always been my favorite part. The color really showcases the sculpting that I just did, and it really makes the hand come to life. I want to add color to the sweater, but nothing too loud. So I'm painting the sweater a muted teal gray color. To add highlights, I'm wiping away some of the color with a damp paper towel. On to the moment you've all been waiting for, the painted nails. a design that is unique and worthy of showing off, but also not so crazy that when people see it, they don't believe that this is an actual hand. That is my goal after all. I want people to think that this is a real hand and then be surprised when I cut into it, revealing that it's actually a cake. I mean, that's really, really difficult to do, but I'm going to try my best. Over the past few years, nail art has come a long way. The fingernail is now a canvas, and these artists are making mini paintings on them that are incredibly impressive. And here I am, making a cake inspired by those crazy nails. This cake might earn the number one spot of the weirdest cake I've ever made. But it has to be the current champion. I'm gonna let you guys know in the comments which cake I think that is. And there you have it, a cake of edible nail art on a hand. I am so, so, so excited to cut this one. Ouch, my hand. <laughs> do any of you want a slice of finger? What do you guys think? Is this cake the weirdest cake that I've ever made? I mean, I know it's up there. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel right now for a brand new cake every week. I'll see you next week for another cake. <laughs>